Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome to another episode of Gear and Beer where we talk about adventure, motorcycle, and camping gear all while enjoying a beer together. And I've got one right here. So I've been doing a lot of solo riding today and um, tonight I'll be doing some solo camping. I found a nice little spot and I just happened to have a beer with me so I thought, you know what, this would be a great opportunity to go over my sleeping bag. The one I use is called the Nemo Forte. It's an excellent sleeping bag. It's called a spoon bag. It's actually quite a bit wider in the hips and in the knee region and it's really made for side sleepers. But let's go ahead and take it over to the tent and get into it. So today's beer is from Everybody's Brewing in White Salmon, Washington. It's on the Columbia River Gorge. It's a really cool town if you've never been there before, but Everybody's Brewing makes some excellent beers. And since we are in the mountains today, this video is the Mountain Mama Citra Pale Ale. Go ahead and crack this one open, take the sleeping bag over to the tent, and let's get started with this review. All right guys, so as I said, this is the Nemo Forte, and I keep it in a different uh, stuff sack. I keep it in the Sea to Summit uh, compression sack. It's, uh, it's waterproof, it vents all the air out as you squish it down, and I, I like it. I prefer this over the stuff sack that it comes in just because it is waterproof. They do actually make this in a long version as well, so if you are quite a bit taller, uh, six foot or over, uh, that one should fit you just fine. It's very, very soft, um, nice and comfortable whenever you're sleeping in it. It has a really nice wide toe box, so your feet, doesn't, your feet don't get kind of claustrophobic when it's inside there. The hood part of it is, again, nice and plush, and then there is a spot on the inside for the Nemo Philo that, to slide inside of there. That way your pillow doesn't get lost in the middle of the night. Now some really cool things about this sleeping bag. One is that along the chest area, it's got these nice big breathable gills is what they call them. And you can unzip those, let's say like a night, a night like tonight where it's only gonna get down to about 40 degrees, you might get a little bit warm in a 20 degree sleeping bag. So unzipping these gills allows a little bit of heat to escape so you don't get so hot or clammy when you're inside your sleeping bag. I really like that. It really makes it a, a three, four, three to four season sleeping bag for me. Another thing you'll notice is that in the head area, they have this little flap. And if you tuck it in, it really helps to seal all the air, all the warmth in around your head whenever you're inside of it. And if you get too hot, just flip it out. And again, it allows you to, to let some air inside there. There is a nice little pocket here that fits a cell phone or any other little goodies you might want that, so you don't get lost in the middle of the night. My phone does fit inside there and I have the uh, iPhone 11 Pro Max. So it does fit inside, no problem. You do feel it in the middle of the night, so I don't normally put much in there. So laying the sleeping bag out, you'll see that it is nice and long. It's the same, same length as my uh, air mattress. I used the sleeping bag back in early May um, in the mountains in Oregon, and it was 17 degrees in the morning when I woke up. And typically when a sleeping bag says it's good down to 20 degrees, that usually means it'll keep you from dying at 20 degrees. But at 17 degrees, I was plenty warm. I had no issues at all staying warm or getting cold in the middle of the night. I do generally sleep in long johns, but usually they're very thin because I don't like to get hot in the middle of the night. But uh, this sleeping bag, I, I've been very impressed with. There's nothing worse than freezing your butt off all night. And with this sleeping bag, I just haven't had that issue. I, all right guys, so that's pretty much it. Just a quick overview of the sleeping bag and the, some of the things I like about it. Again, I like the fact that it's plush. I like that it's good down to 20 degrees, but really it's good for better than that. And my favorite thing about it again is just the fact that it's that spoon bag where it has a lot more room in the hips and the knee area for side sleepers so you don't get all tangled up in it when you're switching from side to side in the middle of the night. If you have any questions about this sleeping bag or any other of the gear you've seen so far today, hit me in the comments below. I'll also leave a link to this sleeping bag below down in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm gonna go do some fishing. Cheers.